I'm gonna be showing you guys every single working glitch in season 3 of Cold War Zombies. Make sure to like and subscribe if this does help you. The first glitch is an AFK pile glitch. First you want to do the glitch to skip the first door by knife lunging the zombie like I do. Then you want to go and enter the teleporter and turn on the power in all three locations. Here are the locations. The first one to activate is in the mission control room. The second one to activate is in the data center. The third one you have to activate is in the military command ether reactor. You should have done all this by round 5 and once you do that you want go back inside the teleporter and you want to wait around 30 seconds to one minute for the zombies to start spawning in as you can see on my screen when the zombies do spawn in they will go afk in that one spot but what you want to do is kill them then you want to come to the spot where i am and you want to go exactly there now you're going to see when the zombies do spawn in they all will walk right past you except there will be a zombie every now and then that will attack you but a lot of times they'll run away if you don't kill them this glitch is actually insane because when you do stay here all the zombies will just run right past you and you can kill them with whenever you want so that's why i recommend having an ar or an smg not a close range gun because the zombies will go back and forth pretty far away from you this glitch affects all types of zombies including the manglers and the mimics and it'll work in the later rounds too which makes it extremely effective another way you can do this glitch is by charging up your either shroud then you want to come where i do use it then you want to do exactly what i do but you want to go over here this time and then you can kill all the zombies this way and you'll have the same effect now the second glitch is a pile of glitch. This glitch is extremely simple and it doesn't require anything else. All you want to do is make your way to the scorch defense. You want to come over to these sandbags or whatever these things are. Then you want to look where I do. You want to go where I do. You want to jump and mantle up on this thing and move a little bit backwards. And if done correctly, all the zombies will walk towards you and they'll pile up right below you. I'm not too sure how effective this glitch is against the bosses, but it works against the zombies. This glitch is a little hard to do because if you do it wrong, the zombies will start throwing their meat at you, but once you get the right positioning, this glitch is perfect. I recommend using this glitch for XP and camos because the zombies pile up below you so you can get easy headshots. The third glitch I have is a pile of glitch. Make your way to these boxes in the helipad, and then all you want to do is jump while you're backpedaling, so what you want to do is jump and hold your analog stick backwards, and if done correctly, you will be in the glitch. It might be a a little tricky but i recommend just jumping and then moving your analog stick back for like a second or like half a second it makes it so much easier but it is extremely worth it in the end because all the zombies pile up right below you making it extremely easy to get camos this glitch could also be used as an afk glitch but i recommend using it as a pile glitch just because a megaton or any of the other elites can spawn in in the middle of each round as you can see this glitch works on the other boxes too it gives the same effect and you just have to do the exact same thing i'm going to be showing you guys every single way you can skip the first door in firebase z now the first method is by using the either shroud so you want to make sure you have the either shroud ready for the first method you want to follow exactly where i go then when you come to the edge you want to just use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the second glitch you want to do the same thing by jumping onto this little thing then you want to jump up and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can skip the first door straight to the teleporter now for the next glitch all you want to do is come over these boxes here you want to stand exactly where i do then you want to jump and use your either shroud if done correctly you will be on the balcony again and you can do the same things as before now the last method is probably the hardest method but what you want to do is make your way to this fence in the courtyard you want to make sure you have a zombie running towards you and all you want to do is prop up against a fence and knife and you will be boosted into the air this is also the best method since you could do this on round one this next glitch is a pilot glitch and the footage is by warfighter v7 his channel will be in the description below go subscribe to him This next glitch is going to be an unlimited ammo glitch for your pistols, but pretty much what you want to do is equip dual wielded pistols, then you want to shoot only your left gun, but you want to make sure it doesn't reach below 1 ammo. Then when you reach 1 ammo on your gun, you want to go press options, then you want to apply any of these blueprints and you will have your ammo back. You can do this however many times you want, but it isn't really too practical. 
This next glitch is an AFK glitch by the health pad, but what you want to do is come over to this box, you want to go prone, and you will be in god mode, but you can't move from here. What I recommend doing is grabbing a C4, and you can get to do the unlimited C4 glitch here too. You are invincible to all zombies, including the manglers and the mimics. Other than that, this glitch is pretty useless. You can also go to the other side of the plane over here and do the same thing. The next glitch is a weapon duplication glitch. This glitch does work with every single gun, but the gun I use in this video is a Gallo. Turn on the power, then activate Pack-a-Punch. All you want to do is have one gun that you want to duplicate, and you want to have another gun, such as a wall gun or a gun from the mystery box. You also need 5,000 points. Then you want to make your way to the Pack-a-Punch machine. Then you want to hold your interact button. So for PlayStation users, that's square. So you want to hold it for about half a second, and you want to quickly switch to your other weapon. And once you exit the Pack-a-Punch machine, you will have two of the same gun so once again in slow motion all you want to do is go to the pack of inch machine then you want to hold square about halfway then you want to quickly switch to your other weapon the weapon you're holding before you enter the pack of punch machine is the weapon you're going to be duplicating you can pack a punch the duplicated weapon you can give it an ammo mod you can do whatever you want with it this glitch is a high rounds pile of glitch and die machine what you want to do is come over to the medical bay then you want to come over to this weird little thing here then you just want to mantle up on this while your backpack Pedaling, and if done correctly the zombies should start piling up below you and sometimes they'll come behind you. The spot is extremely effective since it could be used for high rounds and the megatons won't even spawn in in this spot if you stay here. It's also extremely easy to do and if you ever need ammo you can go over to the ammo box close to this area. You can pick up all power ups and drops in this spot and you're invincible to all zombies and dogs. The megaton won't spawn so you don't have a problem with that. This glitch is also really useful for getting camos because you can get easy critical kills in this spot. The next two glitches are on die machine and they're both pile up glitches on die machine you want to make your way to the crash site then you want to come over to this broken plane and you want to jump and mantle over the plane like i do if done correctly your feet will be floating up in the air you need to make sure you mantle on it exactly like i do because if you don't do it you will just end up on top of the spawn and all the zombies will throw their meat at you now no zombies or dogs will be able to attack you but the boss still can hit you and will kill you if you don't kill it fast enough so that's why i recommend having ring of fire just so when the boss does spawn you can easily kill it you can't pick up any drops but you can pick up all the power-ups in this spot make your way to the pond you want to come over to this truck then you want to do exactly what i do by running and sprinting into this thing on screen so it may take a few tries but you just want to keep moving back and forth and sprinting into this and you're gonna know if you did it correctly if your feet start floating up in the air now the zombies will go afk and they will pile up where you jumped into the truck the dogs and zombies will pile up but the megatons can still hit you in this glitch so you want to make Make sure you kill them fast by equipping ring of fire. You can't pick up any drops or power ups in this glitch. All the zombies pretty much go afk so it makes it super easy to get critical kills for your camos. The next 9 glitches are going to be on die machine, they're all pile of glitches so if you don't want to see them you can click off this video now. You will need a chopper gunner for this glitch and optionally two C4s. Make your way over to this railing in the control room in the medical bay. Then you want to do look at it like I do and you want to slowly jump off and use your chopper gunner at the same time. Once you get out of your chopper gunner then you're going to be floating next to this wall. Now you will be in parcel god mode and all the zombies will begin to pile up in front of you. You can also do the unlimited C4 trick here by throwing down a C4 on the railing in front of you and then spamming the swear button to pick it back up. I'm unsure if the megatons will kill you in this glitch spot but I know for a fact that the dogs will be able to harm you with their gas so if it does do too much damage to you then you can pick up a juggernaut and quick revive. Before I show you how to do the glitch I recommend you guys have everything you need because this glitch is really good for high rounds too. All you want to do for this glitch is make your way to the rocky defense. You want to come over to this ledge right here. You want to mantle while moving backwards. And if done correctly, all the zombies will begin to pile up right below you. So once again, you want to mantle while backpedaling. All zombies, including the mimics, will pile up down below you, which makes this glitch super good for getting camos and unlimited XP. I believe the manglers can still attack you in this spot, so you want to have Ring of Fire ready, just in case they do show up, just so you can quickly kill them. Make your way over to the broken plane in the crash site. All you want to do is mantle right here, and as soon as you mantle, you want to pull out your chopper gunner. So if it doesn't work the first time, you want to do it super quick. So as soon as you see that mantle, you just want to pull it out, so you can 
exit the chopper gunner or you can just use it but it doesn't really matter now you're gonna know you're in the glitch if your feet are floating and all the zombies begin to pile up below you i do recommend getting quick revive juggernaut and a wonder weapon just because of how hard it is to get back into this glitch because of how hard it is to get a chopper gunner but you can't pick up any drops or power-ups in this glitch either the dogs can't harm you but their gas will harm you once you kill it and the megatons will kill you Make your way to this truck in the pond, all you want to do is mantle on the top of the car then slightly move back at the same time. So you want to mantle while backpedaling. So if you move a little bit back then you're going to be in the glitch spot and all zombies will begin to pile up below you and they will pretty much just be AFK. I'm pretty sure the dogs will go AFK as well but I'm not too sure about the megatons. If the megatons do end up harming you, all you want to do is equip your ring of fire and kill them really easily. You will get occasionally hit every now and then but it isn't enough to kill you. If you are taking too much damage then you can always go get Juggernaut and Quick Revive. Make your way to this box in the courtyard. You want to jump while backpedaling so pretty much what that means is that you want to jump on the box while you're moving your left stick backwards. If done correctly all the zombies will begin to pile up below you and you won't get hit by anything. This glitch doesn't really work too well on high rounds but if you do want to do this glitch in high rounds then you will have to kill the zombies pretty quickly. Because of how easy it is to get in and out of this glitch, you don't really have to worry about getting drops or power-ups since you can just quickly get them and hop right back on the glitch. But you also won't really need Juggernaut or Quick Revive because you will be occasionally getting hit but it won't do enough damage to kill you. For this glitch you'll need stun grenades, frag grenades, and a self revive. Make your way to the medical bay and come where I do. Bring a zombie with you and throw down a stun like I do. Then you want to move back and knife the zombie so you can knife lunge and get on top of this ledge right here. Then you want to go prone, move forward, and go line yourself up in the same spot as me. Cook your frag grenade until it kills you. Then you want to mo be moving forward and use your self revive and while you're pressing your- while you're using your self revive, you want to spam the jump button. If done correctly, you should be under the map and right under the plane crash site. If you ever need ammo for your gun, you can buy it right here. You can make the zombies pile up in a spot by jumping. You have to activate an anomaly and be in the dark either to do this glitch. Make your way to this truck near crash site while you're teleporting out of the anomaly. Jump on the lower part of the truck and as soon as you're about to teleport, you want to jump. Once you teleport out of the anomaly, your feet will be floating up in the air. You can do this wrong however, if you didn't jump high enough, you will be you will be lower towards the ground and the zombies will be able to hit you. You want to make sure you jump as high as possible so that the zombies can not hit you in this spot. It may take a few tries. Once you finally get in the spot, you will be completely invincible to dogs and zombies. However, the Megaton will be able to hit you and it will kill you unless you kill it first. Although not needed, it is recommended that you guys bring a wonder weapon just so you don't have to worry about ammo and it is recommended that you have cook revive and juggernaut make your way to this area in the particle accelerator all you want to do is jump while backpedaling so you want to jump on and mantle on this while you're backpedaling and you're going to know if you're in the glitch if all the zombies start to pile up below you i'm not too sure if the megaton can attack you in this spot but i do know the dogs can harm you but you can quickly get rid of them with your wonder weapon or any other gun make your way to this railing right here in the particle accelerator you want to line up your crosshairs with mine and then you want to jump and pull out your chopper gunner as soon as you do that so you want to make sure you have a chopper gunner as well. This may take you a few tries because you can be a little too high up or a little too low up and you can get knocked out of this glitch so it may be a little hard to do this but once you're in the right spot it's perfect. If you're too low then the megaton will be able to knock you out of this spot but if you're too high up you can get easily hit. It's a good idea to bring an upgraded wonder weapon with you if you're going to do this glitch because you can't pick up any drops. Now these are all the glitches I have for you guys today. If you need help or if any of these don't work, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.